So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in internet options. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure that you're on the general tab. Now you wanna click on settings. And now once we're here, we're gonna change the number in this box. So you wanna delete this. You're gonna type in 1024. Make sure that you have 1024 in this box and then click on okay. And then click on okay again. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter. You're gonna double click on it. And then click on properties. And then click on internet protocol version four. Now once this comes up, you wanna select, use the phone DNS server address. You wanna make the first line 8888, and you wanna make the second line 8844, and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to Microsoft Edge. Now you wanna click on the three dots in the top right. Now you wanna click on extensions. And then click on manage extensions. And now once you're on this, if you see any extensions that you think may be causing Microsoft Edge to be slow, or any extensions that you don't recognize, you want to either remove it or disable it. So you could either disable it by turning this off, or you can click on remove, and then you can remove it. And now for the next step, you're gonna click on the three dots in the top right again. Now you're gonna click on settings. And now once you're on settings, you're gonna search for acceleration. And now this will come up. Use graphics acceleration when available. Make sure that you have this turned on. And now once you've done that, on the left hand side, you're gonna click on privacy search and services. Now once this comes up, we're gonna scroll down, it's going to be saying clear browsing data now, you're going to click on choose what to clear. And now once this comes up, you're going to set the time range to all time, and you're going to select cookies and cache. So you can unselect everything here, you can unselect all of this, but just make sure that you select cookies and cache. Select these two, and then click on clear now. And now for the last step, on the left hand side, you're going to click on about Microsoft Edge. It's now going to start checking for updates. Make sure that your Microsoft Edge is fully up to date. And now once you've done all of that, you just want to close out Microsoft Edge, open it back up again, and then it's gonna be faster.